I want to show you this picture. Some people might see it, say it's fake. I don't care because I think it's real. I think that we're out there on Mars and it's awesome. This is the very first picture from an of an aerial aerial view from a flying object we put on Mars. And that's amazing. I think that's incredible. I love it. I love this picture. Now, I have this, there's no audio on this, but you can see in the lower left, we're going to play this, this is a minute long, okay? You can see it starting up. It's in the lower left-hand side there, okay? This is the Ingenuity taking off. This is its third flight. Now, it, it flies up, starts hovering, and this thing just takes off. It's like, I'm out. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go do my thing. As soon as it left camera, it, it probably like started snacking, doing some a jig. Who knows? Maybe some flips. A lot of people see. I see people are claiming it's Iceland. I don't think so. I, I it's you know it's uh I think this is Mars. You guys are a lot of people just don't want it to be real. I see a lot of people in chat. And all right, so here comes here comes back. It's flown back. I love it steadies out and then lands again this is the this is basically proving all right it's proven that it can take off it's proving that it, it could travel around a little bit now it's traveled even further and now we're basically at the time actually there's a little clip of it a close-up where did where'd that close-up go hold on what is it not playing the close-up oh maybe yeah here we go look at that thing I just want to show show that that's so sick all right anyway so yeah this thing's dope i love it it's uh it makes it three for three and i'm really hyped about it let's see the u.s space en uh, agency's ingenuity mars helicopter has now made its third successful flight on the red planet very nice ingenuity team congratulations it's very cool i'm very excited about it on sunday the little chopper rose to a height of five meter before speeding off laterally for about 50 meters half the length of a football field ingenuity then came back to its takeoff spot for a total flight time of 80 seconds today's or sunday's sortie was the most ambitious yet but engineers say they planned to push the technology harder still they want to find the chopper's limits even if that means crashing it in the process yep that's true the previous two flights were conducted on monday and thursday Monday's historic outing marked the first time powered, controlled flight by an aircraft that had been conducted on another world. Ingenuity was carried by Mars uh, to Mars by NASA's Perseverance rover, which touched down in the Jezero crater in mid-February. The 1.8 kilogram drone is regarded as a technology demonstration intended to prove the utility of aerial, aerial mobility on the planet's rarefied atmosphere. In the future, helicopters could be used to scout the way ahead for rovers and astronauts and to investigate otherwise impossible to reach locations such as cliff faces. And here's a really nice um, kind of a comparison image of how big it is. You see the pers Perseverance, which is rather quite, quite large. And then we've got, it's only, well, it's only 19 inches tall and wow, four feet wide. So that's a, that's a big wingspan actually. I didn't realize. Here we got the antenna, the solar panels, rotary blades, or the rotor blades, batteries, avionics, and then the sensors and cameras on the bottom. NASA's officials have granted the Ingenuity Engineering Team two more flights before Perseverance is commanded to get on with its primary mission of searching for life on Jezero, or in Jezero, which is an ancient lake bed. Uh, for the, the past week of testing, the one-ton robot has been acting as the chopper's radio base station and the photographer of record. Perseverance has been taking still images and making short movies, all from a distance of 65 meters from the drone's airfield. Ingenuity 2 has been taking photos whilst airborne, and these black and white pictures that look straight down to track passing rocks to help with navigation. The drone also has a color camera that looks horizontally. And here is that picture I showed you just a minute ago. Much of the imagery acquired so far has had to wait its turn to come back to Earth. 
the relay satellites at Mars are restricted in their bandwidth, and it's engineering data that details flight performances, which has been prioritized for immediate return. A few sample photos have come back, but we may have to wait a few days for all the pictures, including the full-length movie shots by the spectating Perseverance to make their way home. The major difficulty in flying on the Red Planet is its very thin atmosphere, which is just 1% of the density here on Earth. That gives the rotor ba uh, blades on Ingenuity very little to bite in into to produce lift. Uh, there's help from lower gravity on Mars, but still it takes a lot of work to get up off the ground. The NASA chopper was therefore made extremely light and given the power to turn those blades super fast, over 2,500 revolutions per minute. Control also has to be autonomous. The distance to Mars is currently 295 million kilometers, which means no radio signals taking 16 and a half minutes to traverse. Uh, that, excuse me. That means radio signals take 16 and a half minutes to traverse the intervening space. Flying by joystick is simply out of the question. And then here is a picture of the uh, Jezero crater, which is great. We got the crater rim, ancient delta here. You could see it. It's, it is. It's just, it was definitely flowing from the left side here out to the right. At least that's what it looks like. Let's zoom in on that because that's pretty cool. I don't know exactly. Oh, there it is. So this is where the Perseverance landed over down here. Look at this, it's beautiful. All right, say what you will, I don't mind because a lot of people just love to say it's not real. I don't care. All I know is there's a little tiny piece. See this little square here? That little square is a piece, this is a, this, half an inch by half an inch square of unbleached muslin material from the white uh, the Wright brothers first airplane was encapsulated in a, pro a protective uh, polyamide film before being attached to a cable underneath the solar panel of NASA's Ingenuity Mars helicopter Pro uh, procured by the Wrights from the local department store in downtown Dayton, Ohio, the cotton fabric called the Pride of the West Muslin, was the at the time mostly used for ladies' undergarments. In the front parlor of their home, the Wrights cut the material into strips and used the family sewing machine to create wings covering from uh, for their air, airplane Flyer 1, which achieved the first powered controlled flight on Earth on December 17, 1903. The swatch of material from the Wright brothers' first airplane was obtained from the Carillon Historic Park in Dayton, Ohio, home of the Wright Brothers National Museum. The image was taken in a clear room at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory on January 15, 2020. NASA's Ingenuity Mars Helicopter Technology Demonstration is supported by NASA's Science Mission Directorate, the NASA Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate, and the NASA Space Technology Mission Directorate. The agency's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which is managed by NASA, by Caltech in Pasadena, California, built and manages operations for Ingenuity and the Perseverance Mars rover. It's just, it's so amazing to think that we have now flown on two planets. I'm just, I'm just hyped about it. I think it's amazing. And we don't, we don't talk about it enough. We don't get hyped about it. It's great. Anyway, I'm really hyped. I love, I can't wait to see what they do. Um, you know, maybe they find life or if they don't find life, finding proof of life. I think that's going to be something that we don't talk about. If there was life once on Mars, that's kind of cool. That's going to be really interesting to, to know that Mars used to have life on it. So what kind of life was it? Is it similar to our life? Is it, is there, is there life? Is, is it a different, is it carbon based like we are? Did it need oxygen? And the same, you know, it's like, there's all these questions that I would have. Um, yeah. And I'm looking forward to checking that out.